In this video, I'm going to show you how to add captions to your images in WordPress. Now, you might think this is pretty simple to do, but there are a few different ways to add captions. There are a variety of ways, and then there's a classic editor, then you have galleries. So I'm going to finish or uh, explain everything about captions in terms of all the permutations and combinations. Classic editor, inside galleries, and inside single images. So you'll have never heard out about how to add captions to your images inside WordPress. All right. Let's go to my screen here. So let's start with the uh, block editor first. So this is a website I've created with the block editor. So this is the block editor, the new modern block, how to add captions to your website. So I'll, I'll explain the concepts as well while I'm demonstrating this. So what we'll do is I'll just add one image to the site here first. So I'll just drag and drop it here and you see the image is uploaded. So if I now click on the image in the library, you'll see a few different options to do. So you have the alt text, you have the title, which comes from the image itself but here you have the caption option. Now, you can add the caption option here. Let's say, for example, I'll say green mountains. And then if you let go, click elsewhere, it will automatically be saved. Now, if you do this, then anytime you add this image to anywhere on your website, this caption will automatically be added to the image. So if I go here, this is the same website. And if I add an image block, and if I click this, and if I go to media library, and pick this image, you'll see green mountains is automatically here. I can click this and now the caption is present. Now, if I click the caption and I say green mountain, just to give you an idea, what can I do? So once I do this, and even if I save this post, I'll save this, the post is now saved. I'll go back to the media library, I'll refresh it and I click here. Now you see the caption inside the media library still says green mountains and here it says green mountain. What if I add this image one more time then what will happen? Then I'll click this and I'll go to the media library. I'll click it again and select this. Then you have green mountains show up again, the plural version. So what did we learn here? When we add a caption directly to the media itself in the media library, then that's the default caption that is added to the image automatically. Then you can override it anywhere on the post itself. So if you change it, you delete it, that's completely up to you. Then uh, you have control. So you can have a base caption added to images anywhere and then you can customize it on a per post basis directly from the WordPress block editor. But what if you didn't actually add an image, you wanted to add a caption on the site? For example, let's say if I do this and now this is gone, right? So now you don't see an option to find the caption option. So how do you add the caption in this case? So let me demonstrate that with a new image here. So I'll just click here. I'll delete both these images of the site. I'll go back to media library. I'll delete this. And let's say I added this image, right? And this image, again, is a beautiful green scene, but I have no caption here. So I'll do this, go back to the post section. I'll add an image here. And inside this image, I'll select the second image here. And now you'll see this doesn't have a caption and this no, the, I can't select the caption area if in, if in, even if I wanted to. So how do I add the captions? If I go to the block settings too, there's no caption option. There's an alternative text, there's the aspect ratio and all that. And even in the style options, you don't have the captions options. So the caption can be added, but the option is inside this bar here. So if you see here, you have all these options. You have duo tone filters, alignment. This is the option, the third button, add a caption. Once you click on this, now you can add the caption here. So green scenery, I hope I'm spelling it right. So this is how you add the caption here. Now, if I update this post still, go back here, refresh this, as I already demonstrated, this does not affect the main image. So whatever you add on the post stays with the post and whatever you add in the media library becomes the default caption for all images. This is the first step. But what about galleries, right? So let me demonstrate how to do it with a gallery. I'll delete this section here. I'll add a new gallery block here. Okay, so I'll add a gallery. By the way, if you want to have galleries on your website, you should definitely check out Envira Gallery. It's one of the best, I'd say, uh, best gallery plugins for WordPress. It's fantastic. And this will give you tons of control when it comes to creating galleries on a site. So just putting it out there that if you are interested in galleries, this is the plugin you should be looking out for. The WordPress default gallery plugin isn't, or plugin I say feature, isn't very robust. So going back to the post here, we created a gallery. We'll go to the media library here. We'll select this caption or select this uh, image here. And you'll see the caption is already here, by the way. If I select this one, there is no caption. So now both the items are selected. One has the caption, one doesn't have a caption. If I click create a new gallery, now you see this option where the first image already has the caption. I can add the second image and I can say, hey, green scenery. And if I insert the gallery now, you'll see both images have captions. I'll update the post. 
I'll go back to the media library. I'll refresh this. And if I still see this, now this is added to the caption here. So if I create a gallery and I'm adding a caption inside the gallery, that's technically like adding a caption directly to the media itself. So in this case, now this is the default a caption for this image. So that's why I wanted to have a specific video explaining this because there's a little, let's say, uh, specific rules on how this works. So now if you want to add, let's say, if, for example, you didn't add the caption, right? You had one caption here and one caption here, but no caption here. So in the similar fashion I demonstrated earlier, you can just go back and see the bar here, click this option here, and then you can add the caption once again here. So green mountains and done. So what I'll do is I'll demonstrate one last, I'd say, permutation of this. I'll go back to the media library. I'll go to the green scenery option and I'll delete the green scenery caption. And this is gone. I'll go here. I'll delete the gallery itself and I'll create one more gallery. So in this gallery, now if I select this image, this has the caption. I'll select this image. This doesn't have the caption. And when I select the create new gallery option, I'll not add the caption using the media uploader option. Now you see that the caption is not present on the image because I removed it from the media library here. But now if I go back here and if I click the icon here, now I can re-add the caption here and I'll just add green scenery. But now if I update this post and go back here and even if I refresh this page, then you'll see this has the caption but this does not have the caption. So the essential idea is that when you add captions here, they become the default captions for the images. And if you add the or use add the captions using the gallery view when you're creating the gallery, that's technically like adding the uh, caption directly inside the media library option. But if you add it from the post selection screen, that only adds the image on the post itself, not on the main image. So you can still have that option here. So I hope the concept is clear to you. This is what we done or we did in the block editor. Let's go to the classic editor here. So I'm inside the, the one, once again, this is a website with the classic editor. What I'll do is I'll do the same thing. I'll just add a new image here and let's wait for the image to load. So I'll say, hey, uh, wooden bridge. Okay. So I'm adding the caption directly inside the section here. So once again, I'll go to the post. I'll create add new post in a new tab. And this is the classic editor. So I'll say classic and I'll go here inside the section. I'll create a uh, click add media. And if I use this media, you'll see the caption is added here. If I insert it into the post, it already has a caption, right? So this is done. This is how we add the caption. If it is already present in the media, but what if it is not present in the media? So if I go here, I add this image here. This is the third, fourth image. And I say, be you full clouds oops I didn't intend to add it here I'll add it on the post itself so this particular image does not have a caption added through the media library so I'll just close this and once again double check no caption here now if I go here and if I want to add a new media I'll just go to add media and okay I need to refresh the page so I'll just save the draft and refresh and now we'll go back to add media and now you see the image here I'll select this image. Now this does not have a caption because we didn't add one, insert. So now this image is here, but without a caption. What if I want to add a caption? I'll click here. I'll click the edit icon that appears over the image. I'll click edit. And now I can add a caption here. So I'll add the caption here and I'll say, hey, uh, say clouds. Okay, I'll just say clouds and I'll click update. And now you see the clouds is here. And if I save draft again, and if I go back to the media library, I'll refresh it and this and does not add the caption here. So once again, the behavior of the classic editor and the blog editor are the same. If you add captions inside the media library itself, when you're uploading the image, you can make this the default caption for all the images. But if you add them on the post area itself, then it is just, uh, that's just overridden for the post itself. So that's how it works. But what about in galleries? So once again, I'll show you the process inside a gallery. Let's delete both these images and keep in mind one image has the caption inside the media library and one image does not. So I'll go to add media here and inside the classic editor, you have the uh, gallery option here. So I'll click create gallery and you can select the first image. It doesn't have a caption. Second image doesn't have a caption, create new gallery. And now we again have a similar option here, which was similar to 
the block editor. And if you remember, we added the caption here and this became the default caption automatically. So I'll just demonstrate that to you. I'll just say uh, clouds and I'll, you can customize the gallery here, insert the gallery. Now two images are added here. Now if I save the draft or save this post here, go back to the media library, refresh it. Now if I go to the clouds, you will see the caption is added here. So in the gallery creation interface, when you add the caption there, it is literally like adding the caption inside the media uh, I'll say up uploading option here. So it applies or becomes the default caption. So once again, just to demonstrate the last time, I'll delete this. So the caption is removed. Go back here. I'll delete the gallery entirely. I'll save the draft again and I'll redo it and I'll add the caption here on, I say the post creation interface. So once again, I'll go to add media. I'll create gallery and now I'll click here. Caption is here. Second image caption is not here because I deleted from the media. Create a new gallery. Now I'll not add it here. I'll insert the gallery first. And now I'll click this image, go to the edit option. And now the interface is different. Now, this is the difference between the classic editor and the block editor. In the block editor, when you added or edited uh, the image here in the gallery, you had a separate interface and it, the, the caption added here didn't become the default caption, but this might be different. So let's do clouds again. Let's do update gallery. So now the captions show up here. Let's save it. We go back here, we'll refresh it and now you see it here as well. So that's how you add captions. The only difference between the classic editor and the block editor was in the classic editor, when you change or when you edit the gallery view, you uh, change the caption to directly or it becomes the default caption. But inside this option, when you add it here, you literally have the option of clicking and added a caption here. So this becomes the, the not the default caption, but this becomes the caption for only this post. So that's the basic difference between the classic editor and the block editor. But I hope now you know how to edit captions. Let me just also demonstrate one last thing that you might be wondering how to do if you, in case you wanted to add captions. So going inside the block editor now, this is the same for the block editor and the classic editor. Sometimes you use instead of the library, you add the media uploader option here, which you can upload lots of media to. So in this case, let's say for example, you took the two, three images, oops, I don't think, not like this. If you add the images like this, in case you might forget, hey, uh, you want to add the image or caption here, then what you can do, use this edit option here, click this, and this will bring you to this page, and then you can scroll down and edit the caption here. Now, what is this page? Let me just demonstrate, it's not something very uh, new. So let's say you did this, you went back to the library, now you will have see two more images here, right? So if I say I selected this image and I wanted to add a caption to this image, I can do this right here or I can do edit more details here, which will bring me to a separate page just for this attachment. So this is the title of the post, you have the permalink of the title or the post, then you can come back here and add the caption as well. So this is another WordPress feature, which is usually not very much useful because you already have, at least for captioning, because you can just add the caption in the light box view here and then add it to the post. So once again, adding images or adding captions to images in the classic editor and the block editor, you can, upload or add captions directly to the media interface in the light box view of the attachment and that becomes the default caption for images. You can then override it by editing it on the post itself. Inside the gallery it works the same way but in the classic editor if you edit a gallery and add the caption it becomes the default caption automatically because there's no option to change it but otherwise if you add or change the caption in the post interface it remains the space or I say it doesn't override the default caption. If it's blank too, that doesn't override it. It becomes the caption for the post itself. So that's the reason for this video. There's a little nuances everywhere when you want to add captions, but I hope it's clear to you now how to add images or how to add captions to images inside WordPress. All right, if you have any questions still, comment box is open. If you want more WordPress education, the channel is open. Subscribe, like, share, do all that good stuff. And you're watching Yuvraj from WB Beginner. I hope to catch you in the next video very soon. Take care.